the day I left Texas, I went in five states. I went Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. It was not as long as my day of just driving through Texas. The day I touched five states was shorter than the day I was in one state. I knew Texas was big, I didn't realize how big it was. Okay, I think I'm on the east side of Houston, or right outside of it. It's time for me to go. I have to drive all the way to Florida today. I will be touching five states, which is hilarious, because yesterday I was in one state as my longest day. Today I've got to do five. But honestly, Houston is, I, is an amazing city, and if I were to do Texas, I think I could do Houston. I'm still tripping on how green it is out here, how many trees there are, just giant trees bordering the freeway. I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I really don't. It's, it's incredible. I am in Louisiana, seventh state I've ever been to right now in Louisiana. It's like a roller coaster or something. Like that, this thing. Oh, that's where the water is. Oh wow, Lake Charles, I guess? I, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life, ever. Lakes and, and all sorts of stuff. This is incredible, actually. There's a big fucking lake right there. I. It's kind of hard to see, but I've been watching like pelicans and stuff fly across the road. It's been kind of incredible, actually. This is such a trip. There's so much green. There's so much water around. It's pretty flat too. It's uh, I don't know what to say. It's really different from California though. I'm still tripping on how just green and pretty and just splendid this state looks. I'm not used to this. I'm used to the desert where it's just, it's brown and windswept and now it's like, Oh my god, there's water between the bridges? Dude, I'm like actually tripping right now. It's also 2.23 in the afternoon, I think, and I've been driving since about 9 o'clock this morning, and I won't be to my destination until about 6-something if I just stay straight, so after 7. I've been on the road for a while, and it's actually less today than it was yesterday going through Texas. Okay, that's just incredible. There's just water. I, I don't even know what to say, like, there's just fucking water everywhere. It's, it's incredible. Trees that are just sunk. That's, that's incredible, man, that's incredible. Every time I've gone up a big ass, like, bridge like this, it's over a big old body of water, so I'm kind of like, oh, what's this? And there it is. These bodies of water are no joke, like, they're straight fucking lakes and, like, rivers and stuff. I, I'd never seen anything like this, ever, in my entire life. This is incredible. Another gnarly bridge we're going up. Which, the person in front of me slowed down when I got on, so I had to slow down. And I've lost most of my uphill momentum. Thanks, douche knuckle. So now I'm going to fucking get high RPMs, because this guy doesn't know how to fucking pull the trailer properly. Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. We have brake lights, which means that I have like no fucking momentum anymore. And we crawl into this goddamn bridge. There's a bunch of water right there. This is what it's pretty much looked like for a while now. Just road and trees. And I'm still kind of tripping on it. This is not at all what I'm used to. I'm used to just road and desert and businesses and road and or freeway and road, I mean, yeah, this is true. This is trippy to me. This is completely different from what I'm used to. That's kind of cool. I think I'm in fucking Mississippi, actually. I think I just entered Mississippi. Holy shit, I am in another state. This is literally the eighth state I've ever been to in my entire life. So I think I just hit the eighth state. Welcome to Mississippi and the Stephen E. Ambrose Royal Highway. I, I love these bridges. I'm not gonna lie, I, they're kind of weird to drive on, but I love how they're like right next to the river or the ocean or whatever. It's, I just think it's so awesome. 
it's just kind of like a roller coaster going up and down them. I think the locals are just like whatever towards them. But for me, I think it's so just neat. And you look, you can barely see it off in the distance, but let's see if we'll zoom in. It's not focusing. There's water between the roads, and then off in the distance, there's another bridge. So for me, I, I just love it. I think it's so awesome. I'm enjoying every second of it, but whatever. It's a hell of an adventure, and I'm definitely enjoying the sights. Though I gotta say, Texas and Louisiana were a hell of a lot more beautiful than Mississippi. Mississippi looks kind of fucking ugly as fuck, and I can't wait to get through it. Hold on, what's this? Alabama State Line! There we go, there we go. Welcome to sweet home Alabama. Ah, <laughs> yeah. My GPS talks to me, and I have it on Bluetooth so I can listen and everything. This is actually incredible. I'm not even gonna lie, this is incredible. I'm, I'm, wow, I love the fact that I'm traveling like this. My GPS just said, continue on I-10 East for 52 miles. I still gotta go through, through the rest of this state, which is just at the bottom, but then I gotta go to um, Florida still. I'm going to Pensacola, which is still about another hour out. So, I mean, oh wow, this tunnel goes down under. You can smell the brakes in here. Fuck. That's not a good thing. Oh, wow. This is cool. We're literally driving on the water. That's... Oh my gosh. Also, I'm staying in the truck lane because I'm so weighted down, I'm not really able to go that fast, and I really don't want to either, so... I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving the sights. I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm on a bridge over the ocean, and I'm tripping because I've never ever done that before that I know of anyways. Well, small bridges. Never anything this big. Never anything this big. I am almost to my next, to my new home state. I, I should be there pretty soon actually and I'm really excited. I am really excited to be almost in Florida. Alabama in certain parts has been ugly as shit and other parts of it has been very beautiful. Um, this has been incredible and it's not done yet but I am enjoying the ride and I will soon be in my new state. Okay, I'm finally in Florida. I've been in Florida for about a mile or two. I'm really excited because this is my new home state and I'm really, really excited to be here. I really am not filming because it's pretty dark out. My camera is picking up a lot of light, which is awesome. I love my little camera, but I really, it's really dark out, so I'm gonna put this away and I'm just gonna get to my hotel and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm fucking beat. I've been going hard east, and it's the first time on this trip I've been driving at nighttime, so I need to get the fuck to where I'm going, so.